the new case is from a binomial distribution the case is for a binomial distribution n equals to 6 that means number of trials involved are 6 and probability of 3 successes is 2 probability of 4 successes equals to 8 is to 3 we know that to find probability of r's number of successes in a binomial distribution the formula is ncr into p raised to r into q raised to n minus r now we have been given that p of 3 is to p of 4 equals to 8 is to 3 that means if we substitute the data in this formula first of all we can simplify the step as p of 3 divided by p of 4 equals to 8 by 3 now let us substitute the required data into formula n is 6 so it is 6 c3 into p raised to 3 into q raised to 6 minus 3 that is also 3 divided by now it is turn of p of 4 successes probability of 4 successes it will be 6 c4 into p raised to 4 into q raised to 6 minus 4 that means and that is equal to 8 by 3 if we simplify this data what will happen first of all what is 6 c3 the value of 6 c3 and the value of 6 c4 what will be the values of 6 c3 and 6 c4 6 c3 that will be 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. That will be 6 factorial upon 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So let us expand C 6 factorial up to 3 factorial. 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by this 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 into 3 factorial. Cancellation of 3 factorial with another 3 factorial. 3 and 2 can be cancelled with 6. So ultimately it comes to 20. That means 20 into P raised to 3 into Q raised to 3. Divided by now in the same way we can find out 6 C4. 6 C4. 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 4 factorial into 4 factorial. Now what will happen? 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 6 minus 4 means 2 factorial into 4 factorial. Cancellation of these 2 4 factorial and cancellation of 2 factorial means only 2 because it is 2 into 1. So, it can be cancelled with 6 by 3. So, ultimately the value of 6 C4 comes to 15. So, the denominator should be 15 into P raised to 4 into Q raised to 2 or say Q square equals to 8 by 3. So, ultimately the cross multiplication will give us P cube into Q cube divided by p raised to 4 into q square equals to 8 into 15 divided by 3 into 20. Now what can happen? 3 can be cancelled with 15 by 5. 5 can be cancelled with 4 uh, with 20 by 4 and 4 can be cancelled with 8 by 2. Yes. So ultimately on the right hand side there is only 2. Now simplification of this fraction. P cube divided by P raised to 4 gives us P as a denominator. On the other hand 
q cube or q raised to 3 divided by q square gives us q as a numerator equals to 2. So we can say that q equals to 2p. So we can say that q equals to 2 into 1 minus q. That means q equals to 2 into 1, 2 minus 2 into minus q minus 2q. If we take minus 2q on left hand side, it becomes 3q equals to 2. That means q equals to 2 by 3. Again we know that p is 1 minus q. That means in this case p equals to 1 minus 2 by 3. So p that is probability of success or probability of happening of the desired event comes to 1 by 3. So this was another case of finding p and q on the basis of the data available regarding binomial distribution number of trials 6 and probability of particular number of successes.